In this video, we're going to focus on solving mixture problems. So let's work on this example. A student mixes a 20% acid solution with a 40% acid solution to produce 20 liters of a 28% acid solution. How many liters of the 20% acid solution was needed? Now, whenever you mix two solutions, the mixture is going to have a concentration that is in between the original two solutions. So as you can see, the mixture has a concentration of 28% of acid, which is between 20 and 40. Now notice the volume of the solution. After we mix the two, the total volume is 20 liters. Now let's say if we mix 10 liters of the 20% acid solution, and 10 liters of the 40% acid solution. That adds up to 20. If we mix an equal amount of these two solutions, then the mixture should have a concentration of somewhere in the middle. It should be the average of 20 and 40. So it should be 30%. It's a weighted average. But the mixture doesn't have a concentration of 30%. It's less than 30. It's 28. So therefore, did we mix more of the 20% acid solution or more of the 40% acid solution? Since the average is closer to 20, that means we mixed more of the 20% acid solution than the 40%. Therefore, the amount of the 20% acid solution that was required has to be more than 10 liters and the amount of the 40% acid solution has to be less than 10. But let's go ahead and get the exact answer. So what can help us to solve these types of problems? It turns out that there's an equation that you can use. C1V1 C1 stands for the concentration of the first solution, and V1 is the volume, plus C2V2, this is equal to C3V3. C3 represents the concentration of the mixture, and V3 is the volume of the mixture. Now when you mix the two solutions, the volume of the third solution is going to be the sum of the volume of the first two. So if we mix a 5 liter solution, and an 8 liter solution, the total volume is going to be 13 liters. It's additive. It's just the way it works. So V3 is always going to be V1 plus V2. And this equation is very useful for solving these types of problems. So let's plug in the numbers that we have. The concentration of the first solution is 20%. Now because C1, C2, and C3 will all be in 20%, they'll all be in, in terms of percentage. That's what I meant to say you don't need to convert it to a decimal value. If you use 20 or 0.2, you will still get the same answer. We don't know the value of V1. V1 is what we're looking for, the volume of the 20% acid solution. That's what we need to find. C2, the second concentration, is 40%. We don't know the value of V2. C3 is the concentration of the mixture, that's 28%. And we do have V3, the total volume, which is 20 liters. Now, 20 liters is equal to V1 plus V2. Our goal is to find V1. So let's call V1x, that's what we're looking for. So if V1 is equal to x, then if you solve for V2, V2 has to be 20 minus x, if you take this and move it to that side. And so that's what we're going to use for V2. And let's replace it with 20 minus x. And so this is what we have. Now all we need to do is find the value of x. So let's do some algebra. So this is going to be 20x plus, let's distribute the 40. 40 times 20 is 800. And 40 times negative x, that's going to be negative 40x. And then we have 28 times 20, which is 560. 
Now let's combine like terms. 20x minus 40x adds up to negative 20x. And now let's subtract both sides by 800. So those will cancel. Negative 20x is equal to 560 minus 800, which is negative 240. Now at this point, let's divide both sides by negative 20. So x is equal to negative 240 divided by negative 20. We can cancel a 0, and so that would become negative 24 divided by negative 2, which is positive 12. And x was associated with the 20% acid solution. Now to find the other one, we said that it's 20 minus x, or 20 minus 12, which is 8 liters. So we need 8 liters of the 40% acid solution. If we mix these two, we'll get 20 liters of the 32% acid solution. But the answer that we're looking for in this problem is the volume of the 20% solution, which is 12 liters. So that's the answer to this question. Here's another problem that we could work on. 50 liters of a 15% alcohol solution is mixed with 150 liters of a 35% alcohol solution. What is the concentration of the mixture? So let's think about this. So we have a 15% solution and the volume is 50 liters. And we have a 35% alcohol solution with a volume of 150 liters. Now, if the two volumes were equal, the mixture would have a concentration that is the exact average of 15 and 35. The midpoint of 15 and 35 is 25. So if you add the two numbers, 15 plus 35, which is 50, and then divide by 2, you would get the midpoint or the average, which is 25%. But this problem is a weighted average, which means that the 35% solution carries more weight. If you ask yourself, should the average be closer to 15% or to 35%? Since we have more volume of the 35% solution, the weighted average should be closer to 35% than it is to 15%. So it should be somewhere between 25 and 35%. Because this solution carries more weight, we have a greater volume of the higher concentrated solution. So let's go ahead and find out the exact number. Let's use the same formula. C1, V1, plus C2, V2, is equal to C3, V3. Now, the C1 is the concentration of the first solution, so that's 15%. We have the value V1, that's the volume of the first solution, and the volume is in liters, so that's 50 liters. C2, the second concentration, or the concentration of the second solution, that's 35%, which we're just going to use 35 instead of 0.35. V2 is 150. C3 is what we're looking for. We want to find the concentration of the mixture. Now keep in mind, V3 is the sum of V1 plus V2. Anytime you mix in two solutions, the new solution is simply it has a volume that's the sum of the volumes of the two solutions. So V1 is 50, V2 is 150, so V3 is going to be 200 liters. So now let's do the math. It's going to be 15 times 50, which is 750, plus 35 times 150, and that's 5,250 and that's equal to 200 times C3. Now 5250 plus 750 is equal to 6000. To isolate C3, we need to divide both sides by 200. 200 divided by 200 is 1. So on the right side, all we have is C3. On the left side, we can cancel two zeros. So it's 60 divided by 2 which is 30. 
So therefore, the concentration of the mixture is 30%. And 30%, as we could see, it's in between 25% and 35%. So because we have a lot more of the 35% solution, the concentration of the mixture is closer to the concentration of the solution with the higher volume, that is, it's closer to 35% than it is to 15. Now, if this was 50, then C3 will have a concentration of 25%. We'll be right in the middle. Since we have a lot more of the 35% solution, the mixture is going to have a high concentration that's close to 35%. Number three. A student adds 60 liters of water to 20 liters of a 28% alcohol solution. What is the new concentration of the alcohol solution? Let's use the same formula, C1V1 plus C2V2, and that's going to equal C3V3. Now, C1, the concentration is 28%, that's the first solution and it's associated with a volume of 20 liters. Now what is C2? Let's say if C2V2 corresponds to the water. The water doesn't have any alcohol content. So pure water has a percentage of alcohol that's 0%. If it's pure water, there's no alcohol in it. So the concentration of alcohol in pure water is 0%. The volume of that water is 60 liters. But if you multiply it by 0, then there's no point of having this term in the equation. C2 is 0. We'll look at for C3, the concentration of the alcohol that's in the solution once we mix the water with the 28% solution. Now, what do you think the average is going to be? So water has 0% of alcohol, and here we have a 28% alcohol solution. So the average has to be somewhere between 0 and 28%. The middle number of 0 and 28% is 14. But we're adding a lot more water than alcohol. We have 60 liters of water and 20 liters of the alcohol solution. So this concentration will carry more weight. So C3 should be less than 14%. It should be close to 0, but higher than 0. But it's not going to be higher than 14%. Now, what's V3? V3 is V1 plus V2. So V3 is the sum of these numbers. It's 20 liters plus 60 liters. So the final volume of the solution is going to be 80 liters. So let's replace V3 with 80. Now, 28 times 20, we know this to be 560. 0 times 60 is simply 0. And that's equal to 80 C3. So let's divide both sides by 80. Now we can cancel a 0. 80 divided by 80 is 1. So C3 is equal to 56 divided by 8, which is 7. So C3 is going to have a concentration of 7%. So that is the concentration of the new alcohol solution. Whenever you add water to a solution, the concentration always goes down. Anytime you add water, you dilute the solution. And when you dilute it, you decrease the concentration. And it decreased from 28 to 7, so it decreased by a factor of 4 because the volume went up by a factor of 4. The volume went from 20 liters to 80 liters when you add 60. 20 plus 60 is 80. So if you increase the volume by a factor of 4 without adding any new alcohol content, the concentration will decrease by a factor of 4. And this is if you dilute the solution with pure water. So that's it for this video. Hopefully this gave you a better understanding of how to solve mixture problems. And the best thing I could say is use this equation or some variation of it. It's very useful for solving uh, these types of problems. So thanks for watching the video.